Tonight on Takeover TV, I we check out Violet's vegetable patch. Amongst the cabbages and peas. Fun with string. I fuck it. It also becomes your brain. Sexy, sleazy, squirty food fun. Plus, old folks, we hang them out to dry. Over television. Your hosts this evening, Groovy Movies. Hello, and welcome to Takeover TV. Hello, and welcome to Takeover TV. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Takeover TV. <laughs> the show that's so saucy, it might just make your dog pregnant with human babies. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, last week I fed my dog cat food, and my cat dog food. You're choking, what happened? <laughs> they ate their dinner. Lord Vader, this is an unexpected pleasure. We are honoured with your presence. Master. Mmm, found me you have. Mmm, yes. What's, mm. what's, your, what's your name, mate? Yoda, Yoda. Can you teach me to be a Jedi Knight? Mmm, yes. Did you I will. First, mm. first thing I need to do is raise my X-wing. Mmm. Mmm. La 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 Yup yup I actually think that Madonna um, is secretly obsessed with me and that in her big house in Beverly Hills she's got posters of me stuck all over the wall and I don't know And Wonders Around going, nay look <laughs> And Wonders Around going, nay look, pal, you know And I, I, I think that probably very often people have actually stopped Madonna in the street and she has been mistaken for Frances Anderson um, Understandably. I think, yeah, it must I mean, be quite tough for her. Quite it, must be, it must be quite tough for her to have to be subjected to that, you know, on that kind of regular basis mm. of having this look-alike in Scotland somewhere. I imagine it's, you know, it must be quite hard going. Oh, 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 get down. down, you fuck! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, your money! Give us your don't, money! Don't, please don't hurt me! I've only got two quid! I've only got two quid on me! Two oh, quid! Two pounds! Two man. quid, man! Maybe, maybe I can write you a check. Yeah, yeah. No. Man, a check? I don't know. Well, we need the money to buy musical equipment. But Who do I make it payable to? Look, I've got a stamp. Have you got a guarantee card? Uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, ah! That's more fucking like it. Uh, a visa uh, card? OK. Uh, Let's waste him, yeah? No, 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 yeah. no, please. If you're going to kill me, at least leave me with my donor card. Your donor card? Yeah. A donor card, brother? I'm moved. Let's give up our violent ways. Let's let's start a band. Yeah. Mate, do you play an instrument? Yes, I play guitar. All we need now is a drummer. A drummer? What about him over there? Subvert the media? Yeah, must be joking. This is how you subvert the media. This is avant-garde. We must have cuts. I must carve an image for those ghosts. Carve, 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 carve. A fixation for those fleeting images. Video levels are over the top and going negative. 
This is the alternative media. Yeah, let's get abstract. I put my money on the screen. We must juxtapose. Scratch. We must scratch. But don't let me bore you. Switch it off. 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 Hello. I hope you enjoyed that last <laughs> clip as much as we did. Hey, I'm practicing to be a yobbo. Are you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Would you test me? I'd be delighted. Go on then. Nice to me. Not not too hard now. Okay. okay. Oi! You wanger! Did you spill my pint? Uh, yeah, I'm terribly sorry. I think I did. I'm very sorry to have uh, stirred up emotions of mere hatred in you, sir. Bloody marvellous. Very good. Now, I'll test you. OK. Um, I'll be looking at your girlfriend. Uh, all right. Um, this cream bun could be my girlfriend. <laughs> right to your hot squire. <laughs> Oi! Eh? Oi, you, mate! Eh? Are you looking at my bird? Uh, uh, uh. No, I'm tonguing her. <laughs> that was very good. Thank you. Do you want another one, mate? Don't see why not. What about some art wank? This is no good. Inside of my nostrils and the inside of my mouth are filled with radium that glows in the dark. That's why it's so bright. Unfortunately, it also dissolves your brain. So I very quickly leave. Fun with the string. Thank you. What is this fucking film? This fucking film. A fucking washing line. Yes, come closer. As you wish. There it is, the promised land. Bloody madness. Take us down to Look out for those electric fire lines. Electric pole! What's electric pole? Dear Henry Washington! Yes, stupid poker! Greetings on behalf of the peoples on Earth. Never mind all that crap! Where's the bloody cars? I'm busting! Eh? Oh, uh, yeah, upstairs. But I don't understand. You two don't look like aliens. Nevertheless, we are. And just what are they supposed to look like? Mr. Blade and Spock? Bloody Daleks? This was one of them coconut fancies, would you? But it's so unbelievable. Ah, yeah, but I'll tell you this and all. I've visited your world many times. But you did say that you were coming here to help mankind. Help mankind? Where the buggers that they bloody up and mate? I don't understand. You will. Paul Dexter, be so good as to bring my treasure chest from the ship. Okay. In the meantime, I'll have a top up if you don't mind. There we are. The secret B14 and UB40 card. But they're just a couple of forms. Let me tell you, mate, these forms are like gold on the outer systems. If you had any idea of the lives that were lost, colonies wiped out, whole civilizations destroyed in the pursuit of these forms. Well, what are you going to do with them? Bloody sign on, of course. You know, being unemployed ain't all that bad. I mean, I ain't got a job or, or career or anything, but I ain't bothered. I mean, who wants to be told by other people what to do for the rest of their lives? Yeah, well, you're going to get hard, hard times, isn't you? I mean, 
Well, you don't have to be on a dolt at hard times. When I've got mates who are working and they're miserable, you know, when they've got a bit of money. But when you're working, it's just like, you get caught up on other things, didn't you? HP and houses. When I, mean, I can get barn income support and housing benefit, just don't, just can't afford to do as much as I want to do, you know? Even though I'm hard up, I don't mean I've got a low standard of living. I mean, I like my luxuries. I just can't afford them as much as, much as I like. Then, you got to treat yourself once in a while. You know what I mean? And it's not as if I'm alone. You know, I mean, I'm not lonely. I've got my friends, like Wendy and Tommy. Hi. Hi. You've got to keep it together, you know? I mean, just because you're unemployed, don't mean you have to be lazy. You look after your body, and your body will look after you. You've got to keep your joints supple and your muscles well toned. Well, I haven't got a girlfriend. That's just I don't want one. All right, darling. That's because I want to be free. You know what I mean? There's nothing quite quenches the thirst like consuming liquid. Yes, that's right. But what are we going to call our band? Well, I went to the zoo yesterday, and there were no animals there, only men. Well, how about no animals men? No, no, no. What about zoo animals no? Yes, I like it, but it's rubbish. Mm. Mm. Oh, let's go and get chalk ice, yeah? Yeah. Hush, my ah! children. Thou shalt ah! call thyself Zuno men. Zuno men? And thy crop will flourish and thy women multiply and bear prodigies. Zuno men? Zuno men? That's a crap name. What about Elvis Presley? Listen, cocksucker. Thou shalt call thyself Zuno men, or I will smite thee with a terrible rock. Well, Zuno men it is then. Hello, I'm Violet Lair. Performance activist extraordinaire. And tonight, in the spirit of Miss Mary Lloyd, showwoman of the late great British Music Hall, creatrix of the sexual double entendre, and censored by Queen Victoria herself, I have written this little song. I used to sit amongst the cabbages and pea when I was still below my mother's knee. Being rude in public has always been for me a source of great amusement, you see. So I warn all you parents to take good care your precious little daughter on the stage, don't put I swear. She'll get almost starkers and with the biggest cheek announce to all and sundry that she did just sit amongst the cabbages and leak. Just sit amongst the cabbages and leak. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to the TV monument that's just become your new mummy. She has big hair and lovely eyes, yeah. so as warm milk oozes from your television screen, suckle hard. There's uh, a fine line, isn't there, between euphoric genius and turd, and these next clips tread that line with the grace and elegance normally only associated with a posh ballet. And now I'm going to have some of my drink. Yes, I, oh. think, <laughs> I think I might as well. I'm going to have to have some of yours, aren't I, Mr Bunny? Yeah, you have. Good. And how much is that, then? £20 an hour. £20 an hour. OK. Right, well, that, that seems very reasonable. Listen, what? mate. Look, you don't want to be paying for all this kind of stuff. I can get us a studio that take that use for their early hits. Yeah, but we're not going to be able to afford something like that, are we? Listen, mate, I know people in the business. I can get it for free. For free? Yeah. Blow me. No thanks. This, my friend, is state-of-the-art studio technology. What's that, then? This? That's a mixing desk. How do you tell? 
Well, what's that then? This? That is a digital tape machine. Okay, boys. Take it from the top! <laughs> What do you think of the current music scene? Uh, I wouldn't know a lot about it because um, I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> we've got two people who are just after climbing onto the grass and they think they're hiding, but we're going to see if we can get their attention. Yeah, what was the last single you ever bought? Can you remember? Last single ever bought? Last single. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Do you remember the first single you ever bought? It was Do They Know It's Christmas, Mandy. Was it? <laughs> hey, you can sing about it for us. Eh, uh, it's Christmas time, there's no need to be afraid. Ah, uh, I remember how it goes. She's got a touch, yeah. touch too much. <laughs> She's got a touch too well. Our times ever She's a better singer than I am. <laughs> and when? The fields are, are fresh and green. I will take you, you to your, your homes again. Brilliant. <laughs> Bad for an 84 Thanks very year much. Old. That's great. Thanks for talking to us. Put That's one of those black things to put on top of the criminals when you're showing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Mr. Bunny. Yeah? What's your professional opinion? I thought Bodie was better than Doyle. Okay. Chucky! Chucky Quacker! Chucky Ducky Quacker! Squaw squaw! Those clips were jolly splendid, and we're about to go into an advertisement break now, so, um, get ready. <sighs> Coming up in part two, they're practically nude. They play with their food. Give us the money now! The new interactive on, security system. Quick! In the kitchen with Divine David. Been there! Seen it! Done that! Yeah. Feel great in the morning? You're missing out on something. Cyberflake Synthetic Cereal. Each flavor intensive flake is programmed with your full daily input of carbohydrates. Thiamin, niacin, riboflavin, in a clean, easily assimilated form, which is 100% fat-free, giving you the energy to take on your future. Cyberflake from Tokyo Corporation. Food for a better tomorrow. Hello, and welcome back to part two. As you can see, this section of the show has been filmed in longitudinal. That's right, and for those of you chumps with your own longitudinal sets at home, 
press your crossover switch now. For those of you who have not yet purchased a longitudinal television, just take your existing telly and turn it 90 degrees that way, and we'll continue as planned. I need bananas to leave. I am a banana vampire. Uh, without a banana, I scream and I scream and I die. I goodbye, goodbye. I have lived for two thousand years. Still stinks. For now, without any bananas, I go. And yes, I have no bananas. We have no bananas today. Coconuts, we got, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no bananas. Hello, and welcome to An Idiot's Guide to Combating Burglary. In this short program, we will be giving you nine top tips on how to help prevent your house from being burgled. Don't let anyone in without some form of identification. No, no, you can't come in. You haven't got identification. I can't take risks nowadays. Mum, I want to come in for dinner! An excellent way of fighting crime in your area is to set up a neighbourhood watch scheme. Here you are, mate. Your turn for the watch this week. All right. Can't very much. When you're going out and not getting in until late, you should set some lights, and maybe the TV, or hi-fi, to come on at a certain time, so as a prospective burglar will think that someone must be in to turn them on. Oh, beautiful tiny camcorder. God, look at the quality of the picture. The beautiful sounds and... Oh, it's better than looking at those little tiny, tiny pictures and photograph albums. Oh, it's so close to Christmas. Like, make someone's day, sort of buy them one for Christmas. If you can afford to buy one, steal one! Give us the money now! Come on, quick! Quick! Come on! There is no such thing as transvestism. Oh, Jimmy! Some transvestites believe that some clothes are women's clothes. I believe clothes are clothes. Are you like some transvestites? Believing in male and female clothes? Do you believe in apartheid? Do you believe in division? Your stupidity well and truly earns my derision. All wars go on forever and let's talk about people's attire and chat about the weather. Holier than thou, I am the divine David. I don't take it that seriously, but all children must be given guns at school and taught how not just to maim, but to kill. We let wars and violence reign, so let us be consistent. Arm the children. It's the only thing to do. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wobbly Bum. And who's that knocking at the door now? It's Mr. Bunny. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeti, I've just had a great idea. Yeah? Why don't we have a competition being two separate television programmes and see who can hypothetically take off the most clothes and be more naked? OK, yeah, you could be Takeover TV. Oh, that's very good. What could you be? I'll be It's a Knockout. No, Zed Cars. Oh, all right. OK, me being Takeover TV, taking off my pullover. I, Zed Cars, taking off my singlet and my vest. Me, take over TV, taking off my nice trousers. <laughs> Me, Zed Cars, taking off my pants. Me, take over TV, taking the skin off my shoulders. I, Zed Cars, taking off my socks. Me, take over TV, unpeeling my head. <laughs> he wins. I think that's conclusive proof, isn't it, that Takeover TV is the most naked program on the box. You're not naked. Hi, my name's Silver. And I'm the lady. And we're here to invite you to savour the delights of a show more dirty and depraved than any other so-called sleaze on the international circuit. <laughs> Capture the very essence of those heady days of youth in a shameless spectacle of flesh and excess. You'll be surprised. We cater for all manner of sexual deviance, for sickos and psychos. Yes, we know you're out there. Venture far, far beyond your muckiest imaginings. Secure in the knowledge, don't forget, that we guarantee discretion and anonymity. <laughs> Lady, the one shining thing in your life. Sex, sleaze, and slaughter when you need it most. I'm a blonde bodybuilder and I'm looking for a one to one relationship. Uh, I'm sick of casual sex. So if you're looking for commitment and romance, maybe we can meet up. Bye bye. No, I don't think I have seen you around. I'm really surprised I haven't seen you around before. You've got a really distinctive look. Well, here's to one-to-one. -to -one. I wasn't expecting anyone. I hope you don't mind that I brought my dog, Graham. My name's Graham. I placed the ad. What's your name? Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm allergic to dogs. Oh, really? I'm the same as cats. Oh, I've got three cats. Nearly ready? I'm really surprised I haven't seen you around here before. You've got a very distinctive look. We are the ravers, giving you a glimpse of our lives and our rovings around our town. Between September and December, we spent about 12 days learning the mysteries of video equipment. And here is the result. Here we are, all at Clumber Park, setting off for a raffle. <laughs> is it on now? <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, Anne. Oh, here we go. <laughs> When I was 15, I was walking along the narrow path towards Blockborough Church, coming down the hill, when I was... I started to walk pretty fast. I thought, there's somebody too close behind me for comfort. And I didn't exactly break into a gallop, but I did nearly. But anyway, by the time I got to that stage, there was an arm around my neck. And then I opened my mouth and screamed and screamed at the top of my voice, 
father, 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 as though he was just behind the nearest tree and the man ran faster than I did to get away from father. Well, uh, I've, I've said to everyone, and I've got a, an awful lot of friends, get out and about. If you're going to be mugged, you can be mugged any time of the day. It's taken a while for it to sink in how to use the camcorder, but I'm sure with practice, every one of us will be capable of using this modern technology. Take over TV, take over TV. That was some clips and soon there'll be some more. Yeah, to be that more. Take over TV, take over TV. Look at me now, I'm not the man I used to be. I'm not really sure why I didn't think I wasn't. Take over TV, take over TV. Life on Earth is characterized by a familiar biology. Prolific, and as I've said, familiar. Creatures of great diversity roam the globe with the same set of goals. Food, warmth, reproduction. Imagine trying to describe the colors of a parrot's coat to a blind man. Or indeed, the roar of an elephant to a deaf man. What have I warned you about those sound effects? Here in Richmond, there is one man who claims to have been captured by aliens and along with his alien friend, Bog Bog, has been taken around the universe in a UFO shaped like a Ford Sierra. Here's the one and only Dennis Minge. Dennis, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. I was, uh, I was captured by aliens on Thursday, and uh, I got back about tea time on Saturday. Yeah, it was the footy finished, and it was... I see. And can you tell us anything about outer space? What's it like, for instance, in outer space? Well, it's, uh, it's quite big, you know. There's not a lot going on. There's no shops or nothing. Um, and, uh, oh, and there's, there's no gravity. So I had a bit of a problem keeping my trousers up. Oh, zippity blindly do that. Is it um, possible to meet your alien friend Bog Bog, perchance? Well, he's uh, he's having a nap, but I might be able to wake him up for you. Yeah, yeah. please do. Okay, please do. cheers. cheers. Bye. Graham, Graham, have you been rearranging my marker pens? You yeah, have. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I know. Because last night there was a green one, a blue one, a pink one, a darker green one. Yeah. And clearly this morning, I look. The green one and the blue one have been changed round. The pink one is no longer the pink one. In fact, it's the darker pink one that was originally here. The orange one and the lighter blue, but kind of green in its own way one, well, they've been inverted. I don't mind you using the pens, but don't invert them. Don't invert my pens. Oh, Bog Bog. What can I say? Bog Bog. Bog Bog. What is the name of your planet? Some nice crispy lettuce. Yum yum. I never thought about it before when it happened to me. I examined it closely and pulled the trigger. Basically, I was born to be on television. That's just all there is to it. And I've just decided that this year is the year that's going to happen for me. I'm definitely going to break into, uh, into film or TV at some stage this year. So that's about all I can really tell you at the moment. Um, if you'd like to put my please contact me. And um, I'm going to have my name and, that and address on the tape. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with this joker here today because I think it's, it's really good. It's apparently it's about this paper bag. And he goes to the doctor because he's feeling a bit sick. And the doctor says, I'll run a couple of tests and I'll come back to me in a couple of days. So he says, fine. And he comes back to the doctor a couple of days later. And the doctor says, well, you better sit down. I'm afraid I've got some really bad news. So the paper bag sits down as you do. Like, and the doctor says, I'm afraid you have AIDS. And the paper bag said, AIDS? But I, I can't. I'm only a paper bag. And the doctor says, well, I think your father was a carrier. Fragen Sie doch mal einen Mann, der sich vielleicht auskennt, wie man eine Frau verführt. 
Okay, I probably shouldn't have told you that joke, are we? I'm gonna fade it. Please contact me. If you don't, I'm gonna mention it in 20 years. When I'm on This Is Your Life. Hello, I hope you enjoyed the last 45 minutes, and if you did, we're going to hand you back to the normal people soon. <laughs> we certainly are, yes. Now, we know what you're thinking. How can you thank us for the last 45 minutes? Well, let me tell you this, you can't. But if you give everyone a smile tomorrow that you meet, we'll call it quits. How about that, eh? Take it over to me. I'm talking to a pretty girly I'm not interested in what she sees Well, she's looking for a conversation I'm just looking for a lady She tried to stop me by her English diploma I tried my hardest to look impressed but why she sat there talking, talking I couldn't keep my eyes away from her breath She's like a lecturer I look at women, lecturer I look at men, lecturer I look at smoke I can't keep my eyes away from her spots She's bending over to pick up her contact lenses My mouse fingers begin to twitch My daddy's son faded, naked in the garden I try my hardest to hide my bones Oh, let's forget those social inhibitions And take off my clothes and start to indulge Cause I'm a lecturer I love my mommy, lecturer <laughs> Don't just sit there, shoot something. Then let us have it. Send your tapes or write for details to Takeover TV. P.O. Box 4089, London, SW17.